So at some point in the coming days, I'm going to be doing something stupid. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a challenge that I saw Markiplier try at one point that he calls the 100,000 step challenge in a day. And I'm going to try doing this for an hour now. And I'm walking backwards because the sun has me looking like that. I'm going on an hour walk now just to see how many steps I can possibly get. And once I get to the end of this here walkway, I will tell you how many steps I'm currently at today. It is 4 p.m. right now. And as of right now, my watch is showing 1333 or 1337 steps. So the goal is to see, I guess not the goal, the idea is to see how many steps I can take in an hour. Let's see what an hour takes us. So good luck, me, I guess. We're coming up on our first lap. Um, I have a few thoughts, but I'm going to go into that once I tell you where we're at. And by first lap, I mean my apartment building is behind that one. That's the O parking. I can't even see where I'm pointing. Parking lot to my building. Anyway, the time is now 4.31.23, so it was about 25 minutes. And we are at 37.14 steps. So about 2,400. Now you guys get to listen to me over traffic. It took me 26 minutes to make the lap around, which isn't horrible, but if I took about 2,400 steps, that means that my strides were too long. Because normally that route takes me like 3,000 steps. So I'm going to focus heavily Car, people. Focus heavily this time on shorter strides. I think that's I think that's where I'm gonna make up um, shorter strides and slightly uh, quicker strides. Because quick maths right now, I'm not super confident in getting a hundred thousand steps done in a day. Concerns based on my first lap, number one, first and foremost, uh chafing. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do for that. Secondly, number two. Hydration. I'm gonna have maybe, I'm gonna have some like water set up in my car so I can just go to the car instead of walking all the way upstairs. And by water set up, I mean I'm gonna have my water bottle or like the big 30, or the big like 64 fluid ounce thing or whatever it is. Third concern, boredom. <laughs> We're on our way down, good chunk of the way on lap two. And by good chunk of the way, I mean one quarter of it. And uh, give you guys a little update once we get back around. See if we're gonna go for a third lap or not. Hey, guess where the sun is? <laughs> it's behind me. Ooh. I'm finishing up lap two. I'm trying to take shorter strides. After I stopped recording last time, I opted to do like a, can you see that? Probably not. Like a, like a jog, but move at the pace of uh, walking. Pros, many, many steps. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can hear, I'm breathing heavy. It's mostly because I'm talking while doing this. But what I did is I, I, I'm basically walking in a giant square, right? Two sides was that jogging motion. And then the uphill portion of that, plus the side that I'm walking down now is just normal steps. The idea being, I push hard, recover, and at the end of my recovery, I'll have water and maybe some bread or something. We're gonna have to figure something out here. I'm not quite at the part where I'm ready to update you on my time and steps yet. Just a thought I had, passing thought. Kind of like this car passing. There went my thought. <laughs> you think I'm, I think I'm weird. I think I'm weird. Why do I want to do this? I don't know. I'm doing something. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a small detour off of the route. Because if I'm gonna walk back and forth with my car, it's only fair that I include that in the uh, what I guess I would call the trial run. So I'm in my parking lot, I'm gonna go walk to my car, kinda like I'm getting something. 
and then there I'll tell you the time, I'll tell you how many steps I've taken, and I'll decide if I want to take a third lap or not. All right, here's my car. Doing what I gotta do. I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the side, right? Unlock it, keep walking while I'm doing that. Open it up, grab what I have to grab. Big water bottle, right? Psych, it's bubble wrap. And then, uh, do what I gotta do. Put it back. And there we go. So, the time is now 4.55. I am 10 minutes away from the one hour mark. Let's see how many steps we have. We are currently at, it's telling me, stop. 6,200 on the dot. So two laps have yielded me a little under 5,000 steps. Which means that my, my kind of faux jogging, the, the running in place as I'm walking sort of thing, that did the freaking sun. An average of 5,000 steps per hour means that for 100,000 steps, I'm gonna have to go for 20 hours, which is a lot. How much is that? It's about five hours more than I had predicted. It is now five o'clock. My one hour ends in six minutes, so I'm gonna go over an hour here. Actually, that's a good way to think about it. It hasn't even been a whole hour yet. It's been, at that point, I still had like eight minutes left. So, realistically, that was 5,000 steps in 52 minutes. That doesn't really cut the time down that much. But, let's see. Eight times six, no. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick mess. After seven hours passes, it'll have been about another 5,000 steps on average. Every seven hours is like an extra hour, so 10,000 of those steps should be leftover minutes. Every, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just thought of something else that might be a concern. My feet. <laughs> oh my, God. my feet are gonna be so blistered by the time I'm done with this, dude. <laughs> my feet are gonna be toe up from the flow up. <laughs> Wait. Dude. <laughs> A tiny wrench. <laughs> it's, I found a, it's a 3 8 wrench. It's, what? What? <laughs> you know what, you know what my feet blistering would be like? me tossing a wrench into something. But I'm gonna hold on to that, dude. Sick find. <laughs> I lied. I wasn't gonna get back to you when I, I'm done with this lap. I wanted to get back to you at the hour, on the hour. It is 5.06 and some change. I'm just now getting to the third part of my lap where I head up that way. This is like the uphill part. One hour into my walk. 7,156 steps. <sighs> Hold on, let me do some math. Quick math! 5,819 steps. Now, I don't know what walking at a normal pace is gonna be like once I actually make it home. Seventeen. Point two hours rounded up, of course. <sighs> 17 hours. Well, okay, so, 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 that's not the 20 hours like I predicted, right? That's almost three hours less. So, if I started at 5 a.m., 12 hours, 5 p.m., I'd be done at 10 p.m. 
on paper it doesn't sound so bad. I have a feeling in practice it's going to be legendary. Am I really willing to spend a day just to make some absurd goal a reality? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> We're coming back up to the parking lot. The time is 5.20. We're 14 minutes past the first hour. 8,543 steps. That's including the 1300, 1300 whatever. I, was gonna, I said I was gonna stop at three laps or one hour, but now I almost feel obligated to take this through to at least make the first 10,000, because I feel like otherwise I'm just robbing myself. I can do 10,000 steps, 7,500 steps in three laps. So the end of this fourth lap should be 10,000 steps. And then I just gotta do that nine more times. I have to do, I have to do that nine more times. I'm gonna wanna die, aren't I? All right, no, no, no. Can't have that attitude. Gotta have a positive mental attitude about this. PMA. I said I was gonna stop at three laps, I lied. I said I was gonna, no, I said I was gonna stop at an hour and I lied to you. And then I said I was going to stop at lap three, and I lied to you again. But I'm sorry, I got this, I got this deep hunger inside of me. I gotta hit 10,000 steps on this trial run. And speaking of deep hunger, I've got a portion of chicken tikka masala waiting for me back at home. I'm very hungry. I'll do the math when I get home and I edit this together. Is anyone gonna wanna watch this? I don't know. With the wind, it's probably just like. What is this? What is this? Like? I can't tell the wind is blowing you away. There's people behind me, aren't there? No. No. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys at 10,000. We can do this. Coincidentally, if anyone wants to try to do this with me, I'm thinking, I'm gonna have like a live tweet session going on, or a thing where I just post random video clips to my Facebook page. Now, you don't have to do 100,000 with me. I'm one of the few stupid enough to actually try this. But, uh, should, should at least try to do 10,000 with me that day. In fact, I challenge you if you've watched this this far. I don't know what day my 100K is gonna be, but on 100K day, I challenge you to do 10K, if not more. So, let's get going. I'm uh, starting back into cobblestone now. Um, I'm very thirsty, so 100% whatever I'm at here, once I get back to the apartment, it is going to be where I kill it. Um, well, I would have the water station in my car while I'm walking, so I'm not going to have to worry about that too, too much. Um, however, as of right now, my water is upstairs in the apartment. Uh, it is 5.41. Almost in, we're five minutes away from an hour and 40 minutes in. And I'm very close to 10,000 steps walked. So about four laps approximately. So I'm gonna have to basically walk 40 laps, <laughs> which isn't too far from what I originally predicted. My original estimate was 39 laps, so. 37? High 30s. I don't I don't remember exactly what. Point is, we're almost done with lap four, and we are on we are 500 steps away from the first 10,000. So do that nine more times 
and I think we can call this a complete challenge. This feels good. Like, I'm tired. I'm th I am now currently tired. Um, I have things I need to address. I need to worry about better, like, feet protection. Um, so I'm thinking, like, get it, like, pick up a pair of Dr. Scholl's or something. I need to think about crotch protection. Not because I'm worried that someone's gonna just run up and just toe tap my bean bag. And then, of course, just keeping my energy up, monitoring how I feel. If at any point, I want you to know, for those of you who haven't heard of this absurd idea of mine yet, I'm going to abort mission if at any point I feel like I can't continue. Like, I'm kind of feeling, um, kind of feeling what I would assume to be, like, the first signs of, um, not heat stroke, but getting to there. It's, it's, I wore a sweatshirt on a day when I'm going to be doing a lot of exercising. <laughs> I didn't say, like I said, I didn't say I was the smartest guy, right? Just that I'm the guy who does questionable things sometimes. I think, uh, I think we can call this trial run a success. Thousand, my big sausage fingers on this little watch fit. Thousand divided by 60. At the beginning of this, I thought it was gonna be, I averaged it to be approximately 17.2 hours. And now, the approximation, the estimate, is around 16.6 .6 hours. You know what though, I can make estimations until I'm blue in the face and uh, it won't matter. I could estimate till I'm blue in the face and still be wrong. Am I right? Okay. One, da, ba, ba. Welcome home. Just under 10,000 steps in under two hours. <laughs> Almost just face planted. So that's, uh, that was my 10K day today. Let's do that 10 more times.